Hello everybody, and welcome to my second ever video on YouTube. Now today, as you can see, we, I am outside, and t today is going to be um, adventure number one on, on my channel. The Backyard Adventures, episode one. And today, we're going to be, um, I'm going to be searching for anolis and catching them, as well as just showing you around my, my backyard. It's going to be a mini little outdoor tour of my house. So, hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's do it. Let's go. Alright, so, start with that brightness issue, guys. I'm on the lowest possible sensitivity right now. Also, guys, I have cats, and this is my cat, my, th my girl, Lola. I have three, three cats. Two of them which go outside, so hello, Lola. This is my pond. It's got, it's got a little fountain there. Those plants are real, by the way. And so are these plants. Uh, this is a solar-powered pump. I think it's pretty cool. Lola's doing social roles in the ground there. So, this is, that's also a filter. It's really nice. Around here, my f I used to have a pet turtle, but she... We gave her an outdoor enclosure. This this used to be it with cinder blocks around, and this that pond used to be in here, and that was actually her little pond. But she escaped and we lost her. And so this is my square tree. Uh, the sun went down a little bit, so the brightness is a bit better. Believe it or not, this here is a cacao tree, also known. This is a chocolate tree, and so that's a cacao tree. And this is my butterfly garden. I have monarch but butterflies here. You can see these caterpillars. Pretty nice. Look at that. Yeah. So I don't know why I zoomed in on a caterpillar. Some miracles. These are some butterfly attracting flowers. That's an anole right there. That lizard right there. I don't know if you could see it. This is pa this is passion flower vine. This will oh what the heck is a monarch on there but that's a passion flower vine and those attract zebra butterflies um, the official the state butterfly of Florida where I'm living in and Lola girls right there that's from Anoli so without further ado let's try to see some let's try to find um, Florida's iconic lizard the green Anoli also, it's very popular as pets, and I might be getting some as pets. I'll either buy them or wild catch them. I don't know. Let's see if we, if we could find one. They are green lizards. Uh, there's one. There's a few. There's a few right there. See his head sticking out there. Dang, that is cool. That's a male there. I could tell it by the, by the, by the face. So... See if I can get a better look on him. Up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, he's coming up! He's coming up! He's coming up! Look at that beauty! Let's see if I can just climb here, get past this ginger here. That is beautiful. He's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, and. So the, don't mind this little stump in the ground here. Oh my god. Ugh. What the heck? Uh, don't mind that. That was a giant fly. Just went past me. Past me. Hello, la girl. So. I take you around the back here. That is a monarch butterfly. You can't see it. And I won't, I'm not bothering zooming it in. We got a brown and only right there. It's not too crazy, but that's still a beautiful one. It's it's still good to catch. Dang it! Got it! I almost got it! Alright, so we lost that catch. But that's not taking away my feelings right now. So he's already seen Florida's iconic lizard. The green and only which lives in my backyard. And we're entering the little mini graveyard here. There was a snake that used to live here. I don't know if he still does. He probably still does. He's just not coming out of hiding. Mm. There's some plants there. If I go out here, we're probably going to see some more green anoles. Anoles. 
I call them anoles, but other people call them anoles. So it's like tomato, tomato, you could call them either way. That brown anole right there. Hello, hello, you're gonna head bomb at me? He's head bombing at me. So these bromeliads, the anoles love, they could hide on it, all in it. There's a green. That might be a, a Cuban green, but not a Cuban night anole, though I did have Cuban night anoles around here. For those who don't know what the Cuban night anole is, that is um, the largest species of anole. They get around a foot, some have even reached two feet. Look at that guy right there. Let me see if I can get him. He's just a little brown, but... Got him. Let's get him up, up close to the camera. Sound like Brave Wilderness right now. Actually, yeah, go go subscribe to his channel. I'm not I'm not I'm doing anything with him. We don't even know each other, but yeah. Go subscribe to him because he's beast. So this guy right here is brown and old. He's probably gonna jump jump off me right now. And that white stuff is musk. That is poop. Come on, go back there. Go back there. Oh, whoops. Lost him. I think I lost him. I don't know. Ah, no big deal. He's just a little brown and oily. So, yeah, I just got musk on my hand. I would wash them with the hose, but I don't want to risk getting my camera wet because this is not a waterproof camera. This is not a GoPro or anything. This is like a video camera. This is just a picture camera. Anywho. Oh! Bar Barkanoli. Barkanoli right there. No, that was cool. Alright, so... I, lo I love those Barkanolis because they're... Interesting. They're... Much, they're much smaller than than the other anoles, but they're very fat and chubby, and they're cute, and I like them. And they also have those weird orange markings, the males, and that lime dewlap. These butterflies flying around. I don't know if you can saw them. I don't know if you can saw them. That is grammar. Guys, I, I, I know my grammar. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, look at this flower. Oh, by the way, this is a juvenile blackberry tree for those of you who are wondering this is that is going to grow blackberries there's lola you were running this is my box shaped old tree this was covering the entire yard up here but we changed it because um big we cut it down because it got too big could i wash my hands in here but then i'll pollute the pond huh No, I'm not going to do that, because I thought I'm going to pollute the pond with <sighs> poop. Heard something in the tree there. It's just raw sowing of trees. It's nothing special. Let's see if we can find another green anole. Possibly even catch one. So these anoles are actually very smart. And they know better than you think. There he is. That is the male that we're looking for. Sorry for the horrible zoom. Oh God, I gotta get this done. Where'd you go? Let's get some closer shots. Look at that guy. Beautiful. He's much more brightly colored if you saw what he actually looks like. Those of you who also live in areas where these guys come around, like in Texas, I've heard they come around. But up there he goes, there he goes, he dashes, he dashes. And he's out of sight. Up there he is, there he is, he's coming out. Cool.
Go to my front yard. You can see what my front yard looks like. And if, in a future video, when, when I get my first tropical anole, I'm going to use these plants because I love them. I don't know what they're called. I forgot. Up oh, green anole. Look at that guy. He's way up there. Let me zoom in for you. Look at that guy. Oh god, my focus is horrible. Look at him right there. That is cool. It's way up there. He comes around a lot. This one shows you that they make homes. They, st they stick around their area. So... Currently nothing super special. And besides those cool green green anoles. And now there's a brown in the bush there. Oh god, I kept my zoom on. So sorry guys. So this is an old boat for you guys who are wondering. And for those who are also wondering who these what those flowers are that come in these beautiful things up there. And all those flowers. That is a this is a pointy and a tree. Um, they grow huge like this. Look at this. It starts with the base here and it goes all the way up, splits there, and then it just grows monstrously tall and it's going back there too and everything. It's just humongous. It's a problem. Well, yeah, I wrote my name here Max. That's my name for you guys wondering. Max from the Nature Network. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And I thank you guys so much for, for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe all down there below. Just hit those buttons and you will be good to go for the rest of your life. And ugh, sorry so much. I gotta, gotta cut that out. But, and ooh, bonus film. Here is a... Um, here is a monarch caterpillar turning into a chrysalis he's hanging look if I touch him he might move but no he's weaving his ball of silk I'll leave him be I don't I don't want to disturb his metamorphosis that is beautiful so anyway guys I thank you so much for watching and please like comment and subscribe all the buttons down below just hit them all and I thank you so much for watching. I cannot thank you much anymore. I'm a new YouTuber. So, lastly, well, thank you for watching. And Max from, from the Nature Network, out.